Hi everyone, this tutorial will introduce how to use the new HD eyebrows and brows color and demonstrate how to quickly create characters with consistent hair color tones using Material and Material Plus. First, let's introduce HD eyebrows and brows color. Before starting, make sure to refresh the content manager to update it. Then select hair, expand the hair group, and click eyebrows. You'll find many eyebrow packs. Among them, HD Brows includes a wide variety of eyebrow contents that can be applied. You can drag an HD Brows onto the characters to apply it, and you'll see that each HD Brows features a different eyebrow shape. Next, you can press Alt plus 2 to enable wireframe mode. You'll see that HD Brows have a very high overall polygon count. As a result, the appearance is highly detailed and smooth. Next, click Modify and go into Material. You'll see that HD Brows are smart hair, composed of three different mesh and material layers. The first layer, Brows Hair, is digital human hair. This layer is made up of a large number of hair cards, and digital human hair also includes shader textures, such as Flow Map, Root Map, and ID Map, which enhance the richness of the hair material. You can drag the opacity slider to check the difference with and without the Brows Hair layer. Next, the second layer, Brows Base, uses a single texture to represent the hair effect, making it more suitable as a base layer. The final layer, Brows Color, uses strip shape textures, which makes it ideal for creating an eyebrow shading effect. With these three mesh and material layers, the eyebrows achieve a rich sense of depth and highly detailed results. By comparison, the older eyebrow system relied solely on mesh stacking, resulting in lower detail. It also used only two mesh layers, so the overall sense of depth was more limited. Next, the new HD brows also allow you to adjust eyebrow materials using sliders such as diffuse strength and specular. You can then modify the base color And thanks to the flow map, you can use root color and end color to add color variation from the beginning to the end of the eyebrows. Finally, you can choose a highlight color and adjust its strength and affected range to enhance the highlight effect. Besides manual adjustments, you can also apply browse color presets in Stage, Material Plus, by dragging them onto the eyebrows. However, you may notice that although the color is applied, the textures are not aligned. Returning to material, you'll see that not only the color, but also the opacity map has been applied. As a result, the original eyebrow mesh and textures can no longer align properly, and both brows base and brows color fail to match accurately. To fix this, when applying brows color, Make sure to check Ignore Opacity Texture and uncheck Shader Texture to prevent shader textures from being applied together. After clicking Apply, you'll see that only the color is replaced. Then, in Material, you'll find that all three Browse Material layers retain the original Eyebrow Opacity map. You can also apply different HD Brows to change the eyebrow shape and then apply Brows Color again. Just remember to check Ignore Opacity Texture and Uncheck Shader Texture, and you'll be able to achieve a wide variety of eyebrow colors and styles. Next, let's explain some advanced usage. First, select All Hair Materials. Since hair is also smart hair, you can use Root Color and End Color to adjust the color. Then click Save Material to save the hair shader. Set the path and name, and save it. After that, you can drag the saved hair material onto the eyebrows. Remember to check Ignore Opacity Texture and uncheck Shader Texture. 
you'll see that browse hair, which is also digital human hair, can successfully inherit the color. As for the other browse materials, since they are PBR, you'll need to manually adjust the base color to avoid color inconsistencies in the eyebrows. Once finished, because the eyebrows consist of multiple material layers, you can choose Save Material Plus, select the browse parts you want to save, and set the path and name to complete the process. Next, you can apply different HD brows, and then apply the previously saved Eyebrow Material Plus. After applying it, you'll notice that Material Plus assigns materials based on the material name, allowing all eyebrow materials to be applied at once. Finally, you can apply the original hair material to the eyelashes. After making minor adjustments, you'll achieve a character with a unified hair color tone. In addition to makeup and hairstyles, you can also adjust hair colors based on the character's age and appearance. For example, older characters tend to have grayer or whiter hair, so you can apply a suitable brows color. After applying, you can further fine-tune the colors using root color and end color, and even add highlight color to enhance highlight details. The new HD Brows and Brows Color allow you to quickly switch your character's eyebrows to different shapes and colors. By using Material and Material Plus, you can easily achieve a consistent hair color tone across the entire character. Thanks for watching.